the studio today, we have Zach Ritchie with Made in Nebraska. And Zach, you have a really inspiring story today. Do you want to tell us about this? Yeah, it was kind of really neat story. Really kind of, I guess, touches your heart a little bit. Um, an unexpected event kind of changed uh, one man's life. And instead of feeling sorry for himself, he did something to educate himself so he could help himself out and others. So let's take a look. Okay. Ben Blakey never thought he'd make artificial limbs in his hometown. When people understand that there is this type of specialty um, available in rural communities because it hasn't ever been here before. Seeing a need for specialized care, Ben began Sky Prosthetics in Binkelman. Unfortunately, there's a lot of amputees that run into prosthetists or just put up a shingle, and, and I was one of those amputees. Doctors found bone cancer in Ben's leg in high school. He had trouble with his knee replacement and decided amputation would be the best option. Finally, I came to grasp with that I would be better off as an amputee and because I could get back to doing the things I want to do, hiking and sports and all those, all those things. You don't have to be licensed to practice prosthesis in Nebraska, and that bothered Ben as a patient. So he switched schools and his major so he could help himself and others out. Just because your, your doctor had the flu when they're in high school doesn't make them a good doctor. I mean, their education is the biggest part of, of teaching them that. He doesn't just make prosthetics for humans, but also for man's best friend. His dog braces have even been featured on Animal Planet's emergency vets. But the work he's most proud of are the eight trips that he's taken to Guatemala to help amputees there. I never expect to be a farm boy down in Guatemala meeting the first lady of a you know, of a free country. And although he didn't anticipate any of this... Everything in my life has fallen into place. It's, I mean, you, you don't expect to get cancer. You don't expect to have your leg amputated. You, you don't expect a lot of things. But, you know, it, it ended up being a perfect fit, fit for me. A fit that's let him have a new step Welcome in life. Down. For this week's Made in Nebraska, Welcome Zach down. Ritchie, Finkelman. Mixing it up. What an inspirational story, and it just surprises me you don't have to be licensed in Nebraska right. for you know, prosthetics. For everything else, you know, pretty much teaching and, you know, other doctors, you do have to have a license, but not for that. And, you know, just a great story that Ben was able to take this upon himself and become licensed, you know, and change his career path. And he turned he turned lemons into lemonade almost. I mean, just what it, what what an inspirational story. And and then also, um, I was noticing too that he said he had been in engineering before. Does he find that that helps him as he goes on and and works with these prosthetics? Yeah, um, he says that engineering kind of helped him figure things out, and he kind of uses that with prosthetics. But he's kind of glad that he is able to work with people now because most engineers he says you know just kind of sit in the corner and sit in the lab somewhere mm -hmm. and now he kind of gets to you know do both and kind of gets the best of both worlds what a wonderful wonderful story well if you would like more of that you can go to nebraska.tv and you can click on the good life to to read more about this inspirational story and coming up next we have rick windham he's going to give us some fishing tips when those fish maybe just aren't biting